Okay, so I'm back. One more time. Quotations look like this. These are kinds of marks that we call quotations. And why do we use quotations? To show the words that people say in the story. The words of the speakers. They show where the words of the speaker begin and where the words of the speaker end. So you can change your voice when you're reading a story and you find and you see the words of the speaker, your voice will change, right? You will read it like, like someone else is saying these words. So quotation marks are very, very important. Now, how do we use them? You will ask yourself, what did someone say? You will find the words of the speaker and then you will put them into the quotations. The words like asked, answered, replied, shouted, said, these are not included in the quotations. They are not inside the quotation marks. And also, the name of people that say something are not included in the quotation marks. Here you have examples. Dana asked, Did you see my book? What did Dana ask? What did Dana say exactly? She said these words. Did you see my book? So, we need to begin it with the quotations and end it with quotations at the end. So, only these words, the words of the speaker, will be in the quotations before and at the end. The words, like Dana, because it's a name, are not included. Asked is not included. Next question, next sentence, please. Your book is on the shelf, answered Iman. Okay, so what did Iman say? What was her answer? She said, your book is on the shelf. We need to show it, the words that Iman said, with the quotation marks. At the beginning, where they begin, before the word your, and at the end, after the word shelf. The words like answered is not included. And also name of a person who says the quotations, the speaker's words, sorry, is not included. The name, speaker's name are not included. Good. Are we ready? Let's do it on your own. Lynn said, I will watch a movie today. What did Lynn say? Which are the words that Lynn said? She said, I will watch a movie today. Exactly. So where will you put the quotations? Before I and after today. What is not included into the quotations? Lynn's name. And the word said, Talene asked, Can I watch a movie with you? What are the words that Talene said? Exactly. The words that she said are, Can I watch a movie with you? So where shall we put the quotations? Before can and after you, after the question mark. Question mark is included in the quotations. Which words are not included in the quotations? Name, Talin, and the word asked. Do you understand? I hope so. Because now we're going to do page 504. Open up. And let's work. Okay, what do we need to do? Mark the letter of the correct sentence. Choose the sentence that is using the quotation marks correctly, okay? Let's see. Our flag has many nicknames, 
said Martha. Our flag has many nicknames, said Martha. Our flag has many nicknames, said Martha. Which is using the quotation marks correctly? Have a look quickly. It's a second one in the middle. Why? Because the, this one has only beginning quotations, but no ending. And this one has beginning quotations good, but ending quotations include the word said and Martha, which is wrong. This one is correct because Martha, it's a name of the speaker, and words said are not included. Quotations should be only of these words. So, that's a correct answer. Number two. Is the stars and stripes one of the names? Asked John. Is the stars and stripes one of the names? Asked John. Is the stars and the stripes one of the names? Asked John. Which one is using the quotation marks correctly? Have a look at this one. Is this one good? It has only ending quotations. Is this good? There are no beginning quotations. I don't see anyone anywhere. So, no, that is wrong. What about this one? Is the stars and stripes one of the names? Ask John. The beginning quotations are here and ending at the end, including the words ask and John. Is that correct? Not at all. Not correct. What about last one? Is the stars and stripes one of the names? Yes, it's correct. Beginning and ending quotations are good because they don't include the words asked and John. So C is the correct answer. George said, Old Glory is another name for the flag. George said, Old Glory is another name for the flag. George said, Old Glory is another name for the flag. Which answer is correct? Correct answer is C. Number four. I like the red, white, and blue best, Sally said. I like the red, white, and blue best, Sally said. I like the red, white, and blue best, Sally said. Which is the correct answer using the quotation marks correctly? A B. Very good. Number five. Thomas asked, Why are there 50 stars? Thomas asked, why are there 50 stars? Thomas asked. Why are there 50 stars? Where is the correct answer? A. Very good. Last one. There is one star for each state in the United States, Sally said. There is one star for each state in the United States. Sally said. There is one star for each state in the United States. Sally said. Where is the correct answer? B again. Because the words of the speaker are very long. Oopsie. What did Sally say? There is one star for each state in the United States. And the quotations are here at the beginning and here at the end. The word, the name Sally is not included and the word said is not included. Very good. Thank you for working so hard. And let's go to the last page now. Page 554. There we go. Write each sentence. Add quotation marks. Where do we see flags? Asked Louis. 
Where do we see flags? Asked Louis. What did Louis ask? Where do we see flags? Very good. Put them in the quotations then. It will look just like this. Okay. Just my quotations with this computer print is a little bit different. You see, they are opposite way, but don't worry, it's okay. As long as you use the quotation marks in correct places. Let's go to the next one. Clark said, there is one on our porch. Clark said, there is one on our porch. What Clark said? There is one on our porch. Put them into the quotations. It will look just like this. Beginning quotations before there and ending quotations after porch. Last one. I see one in the classroom, Molly said. I see one in the classroom, Molly said. What did Molly say? I see one in the classroom. Very good. Put them into the quotations. It will look just like this. Be be beginning quotations before I and ending quotations after classroom. Good. Add quotation marks to each sentence. Flags are on the street lights in town, said Paul. Flags are on the street lights in town, said Paul. What did Paul say? He said, flags are on the street lights in town. Put them into the quotations, please. Beginning quotations, right here, in front of the flags. And ending quotations after the word town. Next one. Jackie asked, is there a flag on the flagpole at school? Jackie asked. Is there a flag on the flagpole at school? Which words Jackie said? What was her question? This one. Is there a flag on the flagpole at school? So put them into the quotation marks. Beginning quotation marks before is and ending quotation marks after, after question mark. Thank you. It's not very good, my quotations, but it's okay. Next one. I saw a flag on the car, Eleanor said. I saw a flag on the car, Eleanor said. What did Eleanor say? Which words did she say? She said, I saw a flag on the car. Quickly, boys and girls, put them into the quotations. Oops, my mistake, I pressed the button. Put them into the quotations. Beginning and ending after the word car. Good. Number seven, it already popped up for you, so it's easy. Paul said, I did not see the flag. What did Paul say? I did not see the flag. So these words, put them into the quotations. At the beginning and at the end. Very good. And last one, are you sure there was a flag? asked Jackie. Are you sure there was a flag? asked Jackie. What did Jackie ask? Are you sure there was a flag? Very good. Put, put it into the quotations quickly. Beginning and end. And please, boys and girls, have a nice quotations. Not very big ones. Very good. Thank you so much. These were quotation marks. The marks that are used to show the words of the speaker in the story, the words that people say. 
We use them to show the beginning and ending of the words that people in the story say. Thank you so much once again. You did good. Great job, everyone. Now you can just take a rest. Don't study too much. Or you can go and watch some movie like Minions. Okay, bye-bye.